Hey guys, another ammo review done my way, guys. Please, if you don't like these ammo reviews, um, give me some feedback on them. Like I said, I'm trying to do something new with the channel here and uh, show you kind of the ammo reviews, how I'd like to see them. And uh, what we have here, Winchester White Box, 9mm. To be honest, I can't remember if this is the 115 or 147 grain. I feel like it's the 115. If you can tell the difference by looking at the bullet, please let me know and I'll make an annotation. Um, had these laying around for quite a while. These were probably something I had in a magazine at one time and then replaced with something I liked better and found them in the uh, gun safe. So I decided to bring them to the range and shoot them off today. You know, I always try and cycle through hollow points to uh, make sure my firearms, you know, fire them correctly, that they're reliable with them and just to check performance. So I was able to recover a couple of uh, basically uh, jackets today and wanted to do a quick review on this Winchester White Box, which is uh, one of the more popular uh, defensive rounds out there. They uh, are pretty inexpensive. You can get them at very close to uh, full metal jacket prices. You, you know, sometimes actually I think you can get them the same as the full metal jackets. They're inexpensive, steel cased. Get that to focus, guys. I had the worst camera ever, guys. As you can see, these are uh, steel cased, copper jacketed, very tight little pattern on the uh, tip there. Jeez. Nothing ever wants to focus. I wish I had a camera with a manual focus, guys. I really wish I did, for your sake. So there it is. I'm pretty sure it's the 115 grain. So I took a bunch of these out today, shot them, and uh, was shooting through a uh, wood target and into a berm, and, and I uh, was able to recover a couple of these because they actually were just barely in the uh, in the dirt, maybe a couple inches tops. You know, they left uh, pretty big uh, holes in the dirt that were uh, fresh, so you were able to really see them and pick them out very easily. Now these, uh, as we said, these uh, white box are inexpensive, cheap, easy to stock up on, accuracy, you know, no issues with them. I fired this in the LC9, just as accurate as anything else on the shelf that's a budget uh, brand. The uh, reliability, 100%, I think the shape of the nose leads to uh, really good loading so I've never had an issue with these things loading in any of my firearms. They, uh, at least I never have. I've sh actually shot these, I've been shooting these for quite a few years now and never had any issues with them at all over the time and they are. A lot of people ignore these because they're of the price and they don't think they're going to be any good but I can tell you guys looking at this, you can see these uh, can really do some damage. They really open up when you uh, put them against something hard like wood or, or dirt or whatever and uh, they really open up. I mean that's a pretty massive amount of expansion there and these things are just jagged sharp three-dimensional you know monsters guys. I mean look at these they're just wide open. Now one of my big complaints of course is that these bullets lost a lot of weight. A lot of the lead obviously went spattering around so there's a lot of weight loss in these which okay that's I can live with that for a defensive round because you know losing the weight that energy is still dispersed into the target it's just dispersed in smaller wounds that may spread off from the original that aren't going to be as serious as the big main channel but as you can see with this kind of the way these things kind of bend and twist and everything like that if this were kind of plummeting through your body this would cause a very scary wound that would be very three-dimensional and difficult to uh, sew up so I think these things are a little scary to be honest and how they uh, perform 
Now, I've seen people do ballistic tests on these with gel and water, and they come out all nice and neat, and they open up like a pretty little flower, but, you know, like I said in the other video, that's not 100% realistic of the real world. You know, people are made of bone and tendon and ligament, and I think these are the results where you're going to more likely see are these big, jagged, random flowers. And these are not very consistent. As you can see, this one here lost most of its weight. This thing really fell apart and has not much left to it. Versus this one here really only lost one or two petals, you know, so to say, off the flower and really maintained a lot of its weight and a lot of the lead. So there is a, a pretty big difference one bullet to the next. Which, who knows, did that hit a, petal, a pebble in the dirt? Did it hit a twig? Did it hit something? We don't know. You know, did it hit, you know, a knot in the wood, something of different uh, density? You can't say, but what I can say is we got four here, and they're all different. They're all different weight. They're all different size. They're all different shape. So I do think consistency on these is not perfect, but at the same time, they all appear to be very, very lethal which is uh, a very scary. These things are, the one thing you can't tell from this is just how absolutely razor sharp these are. These things are just deadly sharp. It would do horrible damage. So a lot of people avoid this round because it's cheap. So obviously it's not very good, but I completely disagree. This is the round to stock up on. This is the round. If you got the money, go out and buy it and keep this in your house. Use the full metal jackets for, for target practice, but these are what you want when the shit has the fan. These are really good, and you can afford to stock up on thousands of these. They're not a dollar a round. You're paying, you know, 30 cents a round for these, which is fantastic. And they're one of the best deals on the market. So, guys, as far as I'm concerned, I don't care what a chronograph says. I don't care how many foot-pounds of energy. I don't care... How awesome some guys, you know, group was out of this. This is what I care about, guys. This thing made some pretty horrific looking, jagged, huge flowers that I would never want going through my body at 900 or 1,000 feet per second. So that, to me, says a lot. And we're going to keep going with these reviews, guys. Like I said, these are going to be result-orientated bullets that I recover show you them, what they look like, what they're doing in realistic conditions. Because you got to remember, guys, not everyone's going to stand out there and let you just shoot them. They're going to hide. They're going to move, you know, in a, in a defensive situation or a chance to fan situation. Anything can happen. You want to know how these bullets are going to react. Real world, not how they're going to react in some gel. So there you go, the Winchester White Box, one of my personal favorites.